Free brands of iconic brands often bring about a lot of controversy. Everyone's got their opinion when a big brand changes its branding. Now back when I was a design student, I did an internship with a company that was redesigning Rose's chocolate. And it was really interesting to see just the amount of time and effort that went into redesigning a well-known brand. It's something that has to be very well considered because you want to keep with that iconicness and memorability so people don't go, what have you done to this brand that we love so much? But also wanting to modernize and freshen it up. So it's something that takes a lot of time and care and delicateness to get it just right. Now I love watching other designers on YouTube do this, redesigning a well-known brand and seeing how they go about it and their own take on it, just for a bit of fun really. But I wanted to take my own spin on things and instead of redesigning a global or American well-known brand, I want to tackle an iconic Australian brand. So in today's video, I'm going to be redesigning Street's Golden Gay Time Ice Cream. <laughs> released in 1959 but the golden gay time the one that is most well known and most iconic wasn't released until the summer of 1970 now this ice cream is just a vanilla ice cream within a toffee ice cream around it chocolate coating and then biscuit coating on top it's a really yummy ice cream and it's very popular and well known in Australia so considering the history of this ice cream and that it first came out in the summer of 1970 I thought it would be really appropriate to approach this new look with a bit of a 1970s summer feeling to it. So this is some of the inspiration I've gathered so far. So I've sort of pulled a bit of 1970s feel, also very summery, beachy feel, those warm colours because it's the golden. So we sort of think about the sunshine, golden sands, golden sun, that sort of thing. It's that real summery feel to it. And then also with the type, I've started to look at type that has a bit of a 1970s feel to it as well. And I had a bit of a look at other ice cream brands as well, thinking about, you know, what makes something feel like an ice cream brand. And often the type, as you notice, is often quite bold, very rounded and soft, especially for an ice cream that's positioned like this. So if you went for a real luxury ice cream, obviously you'd want a more luxury looking font. And for a kid's ice cream, you want something that feels very playful and childish. But this ice cream is more somewhere in between. It's not really the young kid's ice cream, but it's not that adult luxury ice cream either. It's sort of an in-between one that sort of suits older kids to teenagers, adults, you know, everybody loves it. And we want to have a sort of fun, playful, retro-y feel that just feels very summery and easygoing and just brightens your day, really. I also put in some things here that sort of allude to the beach and surf culture here of Australia too because I thought that that might influence some of the design too to have that sort of real Aussie kind of feel to it. So the next thing I did was start looking at fonts. Fonts that are going to evoke that feeling and are going to be a base for creating the logo. So I've got this font here which I really love but I wasn't sure if maybe it was a little bit over the top because keeping in mind that this is a very iconic brand that we probably want something that feels fairly timeless. We don't want to go too overboard. We want to be playful with it, have a bit of fun, but we don't want to be too over-designed either. So I quite like this one, but you know, I'm umming and ahhing if maybe it's a bit too much right now. Like that Y is very trendy for right now. So is it so timeless? This one I really love. It's really beautiful, but I feel like I want something a little bit bolder and a little bit more 70s feel. So this is a really great font that works well for ice cream, but I'm not sure if it really has that 70s summertime feel to it. Now this font here, I really love. I think if I was doing this professionally, I would really gear towards this font because it feels very much timeless with that, you know, 70s summery feeling about it. So this font, really great. But I think I want to add a little bit more customization to have a bit of fun with it. So I'm thinking about maybe using this as a base font, but then taking some inspiration from these other fonts to customize it and make it that little bit more fun and edgy. So it's not just, you know, pure timelessness, but we're having a bit more fun with it. So this font over here, I think that would be more what you'd go for if you were trying to make, create something that was a little bit more of the luxury chocolate. It feels a little bit too delicate to me. We definitely want something that's more bold and fun and playful. So this one here I quite liked, but what I was taking from it was the way the T and I go together. I'd really like to try and create something a bit like that, maybe with this base font, and then doing that similar T and I combined like that. 
because I wasn't so sure about the overall font, but I really like that particular element. So we might bring that into this font. And then this one here, I also felt was a tad bit over designed, but also I really love it. It's really beautiful. And the flow of it makes it sort of feel a bit more ice cream. You sort of think almost like a soft serve, those, you know, the nice soft flow of the ice cream. So I really like this one, but I'm worried maybe it's a tad over designed. Like the A, I'm not so sure about the E, it's kind of all right. I don't mind E too much. Um, but I really love this G. This G is really unique and I'm wondering if maybe I should put this G with this font or adjusting this font so it's got a similar style of G and then also doing this T and I so that we're customizing this font and bringing some, you know, some ideas and elements from these other fonts that I really love and, you know, trying to keep it somewhat traditional but a little bit playful and having a bit of fun with it at the same time. So let's have a play around with these fonts and see what logo ideas we can come up with. All right, so now we've got the typography done and we've got the base of the logo. Now I'm gonna work on the colors and taking the logo a little bit further. So I want to add a little bit of shadowing and some interesting stuff with the colors and just add a bit more dimension to this logo. So we start with just the black and white because that gives us a good guide for just getting that typography correct, not worrying about the colors right away, but just making sure that type's really perfect first. Now we can move on to the color and taking that logo to the next level. So let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna do here is go back to the mood board and pick out some um, images here that I think that we might draw some color inspiration from. So I really like all these red and orangey and yellow colors. Now, also the creamy color, because we're thinking about ice cream, so we're sort of thinking about vanilla ice cream. Then keeping in mind that this ice cream has a toffee coating, so we want that sort of yellowy toffee color. And then it's got the biscuit and also the chocolate. So we sort of want all those really warm colors, those browns and oranges and reds. And also because it's about golden and sunshine, we really want a lot of nice warm colors in this. I'm just gonna make some little swatches. We're just gonna pick out a few of the colors and see what might work well. So I feel like these colors have a very 70s feel to them. They're very retro -y, but it also has that gold summery feel. And also it really represents the flavor of this ice cream. So it's got that vanilla inside, the toffee, and then, you know, the chocolate and the biscuit. It's all those really warm colors like that too. So that's sort of twofold. It has the 70s feel, the summer feel, and the feel of the actual ice cream. Now in terms of the colors, so obviously... We want to pick out which are going to be our primary colors and which are the secondary colors. So this red, I think, is really great for contrast. So I think that's really good. The brown, I think we might need to go for a slightly darker brown to represent that chocolatiness. And then we've got that toffee color. So we could probably match. See, so these two are very much the same. So we obviously don't want to use both. We may have to test them out, see how they actually look in action to work out which one might be the better option. And then here too, we've got two colors here that are very similar. These are sort of brownie oranges. Um, I feel like that orange goes really nicely with that orange. They sort of match together nicely in terms of complementing one another. And that one feels a bit too brown, so we might get rid of that one. And then this one, really dark. So... 
I don't know if we'd use all three of them because they're all very similar. So we might just test them out and then, you know, whittle it down and jig some. So we've sort of got four different types of color here. We've got this really dark orangey red, the brown, the yellowy orange, and then that creamy ice creamy color. So we may want to cut out some of these, but, you know, test them out and see which one looks the best so that we can decide which ones we're going to get rid of and which ones we'll keep. So I've put the logo on an angle. I kind of feel like that adds a little bit of movement to it. I quite like that. I think the original logo was on a slight angle and I quite like the idea of just keeping it on an angle like that. It adds a lot of movement. And I was quite inspired by this too. I feel like that has that really cool 70s feel to it. And I sort of want to bring that into it and similar to this too. So it's on that angle and then it's got the outline. So I'm thinking about adding the outline and it also represents those layers of the ice cream. So you're thinking about how that ice cream has all these layers to it. So I think I want to bring that into it as well. So I was thinking first we try out the idea of actually layering it similar to the layers of the ice cream. So inside is the creamy vanilla ice cream. So we'll just make it thick just so we can have a look at it. I'm just testing out those two oranges, see which one I prefer. So let's do the top. So let's make the top one of these. And the bottom out there. It's not a huge difference to be honest. Um, but I feel like this bottom one's slightly brighter. Maybe it's just that a little bit happier. <laughs> so uh, there's not a huge difference between these two. Um, I think the bottom one's just slightly lighter, really. But then I think this top one is slightly gives it a bit more contrast. So we'll keep playing around, see which one might be better, whether we want that brightness to it or whether we want a little bit more contrast, what's going to be a bit better option. Now, now I've got outline. Let's try to think what size outline we want. Maybe we'll go for two. And then we want to add a drop shadow. So you go stylized drop shadow. Now we want to make this drop shadow 100% so it's a thick line, not all shaded. You want to go back to normal. We don't want any blur. So see we're making it solid now by taking the blur off. And now we can fiddle around with the positioning of it change the color of it um, I'm gonna have to grab that sort of color swatches we can pick that maybe that orange might be the best one all right so I really like that to be honest it actually has that real cool 70s feel to it we may add some other colors in once we're adding the background we may want you know some contrast from this so it's not all just the four colors we may want to add some yellow and things like that but just for the logo for now these are the colors we're going to go with so looking at some of the inspiration, I feel really inspired by this surf Aussie kind of illustration style. So it's an illustration style I've seen a lot used for surfwear brands, things like that. And I feel like it brings in that 70s surfer beach kind of feel to it. And I thought it'd be really fun and a really different take on this brand. So I want to create some cool illustrations like that. So I'm going on Procreate and I'm just creating these illustrations in black and white. So then I can input it to Illustrator, create it into Vector, and then we can colorize it try different colors and go from there all right so we're back in illustrator and I've set up this page I've added a few extra colors so I've kept those colors we had and added a few extra variations for some darker and different tones like that I'm still wondering if we need to bring in a different type of color as you can see the original packaging they added in the green so I'm wondering do we need to add one extra color to this so as we play around we'll have a think about whether we need to do that or not and so I've set up here a space where we can create the the packaging for the actual ice cream and then a box here for the box so I've put the originals here so we can see what they include on it so they've got the um, streets logo because that's the umbrella brand that it's under they put that there's four in a pack put the sizing on it so we can see there what they've included so we can make sure that we add those things with our new design all right so we've got our logo here so we'll just put that aside while we work on this so i want to bring that illustration i created in now what i want to do with this is live trace it
I'm worried that the logo doesn't stand out enough. Like in the original, you see they've used the brown so it really stands out. Um, that's my main worry at the moment is, is it not standing out enough? Should we change that up? Because it looked really cool on its own like that. With the background, does it not so work so well? Yeah, that stands out a lot better. Um, I did like it when we tried to represent the ice cream like that, but I think when it comes to the actual packaging, the logo is just not standing out enough. And as you can see with the original, they really, it's big on making that stand out because when people are looking for it in their store, they're looking for that name because it's really well known. So we don't want it to blend in too much. We want to make it really clear and easy to find. Now, the other thing I was thinking about, I was looking at some images and looking at these wave ideas because that's, very 70s kind of feel is these um, sort of rainbowy waves. So it's looking pretty cool. Now we can start to add in some more of these illustrations, I think. All right, so definitely got a very cool summery 70s vibe going on here. Now the question is, do we like it as is? Do we need to add some more color? Or once we've got the, we've got add the ice cream on, details like that, will that be enough? Like, yeah, I don't know if the illustration, it gets a bit too crazy busy, but we'll keep playing around with it. All right, so I took a bit of pause for recording because my computer wasn't too happy about me recording for too long. But basically what I've done now is I've just added, I found a picture of the actual ice cream, so I've added that in. I put a white outline around it to make it stand out because it wasn't contrasting enough, so I've added that. Then I've got the streets logo, put that in, and we've also added these details they've got here on the actual box. So we've got the four delicious chances, 400 mils, all that sort of detail on it. So I've added that to finish that front box design. So now what I want to do is come over and actually create the ice cream itself. So as you can see, they've gone a little bit more simple for the ice cream itself in the original. Um, they haven't put that ice cream on it. So let's see what we can do to, um, basically we've got a smaller area so we don't want to overdo it. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that's all looking. So I'm gonna create some mock-ups and show you the final design. So I hope you enjoyed watching this process and see me rebrand a really iconic brand, see it come to life and take a completely new direction. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this and if you have any suggestions of brands that you'd like to see me redesign. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about branding, graphic design and creativity, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.